The time of praying is when it is not a time while it's no working. When do they pray? They pray while it's working. They go in the rock of that time. And they tell God that God for today's is working. But give me more. The right hand to pray. It is the time your husband is giving you the gift. It is when he tells you, sweetie, sweetie. This is your right season to pray. This is the right season. The time you were promoted and you've got to pray. This is your time to speak to God. The time you prophesy and it come to pass. This is the right time to go on the mountain. This is the right time. Let me tell you. When I go to preach and four people tell me that it's working. At that time I don't sleep. I spend my night. I kneel down. I tell God and my father. Thank you that it's working today. I'm asking you father, to accept again tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. The right time to pray. It is the time we beat Philistine. The time we beat Philistine. This is the right time for us to pray. The time everything is in peace. We don't pray when the children are misbehaving. And we don't pray when we don't have time. And we don't pray when the husband beats you. And we don't pray when it's not working. Read the people next to you. Tell him that the right time to pray. It's hard to lie. God never lies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God never dies. He cannot do something in a way of life. No, he can't. Greet the people next to you. And tell him that there is no reason on you that can make God lie to you. You have nothing that can make God lie to you. Nothing God needs from you. The promises that he gave you are true. Because nothing he expects from you more. Our God never lies. He cannot lie to you. Because nothing he expects from you. Your treasure is meaningless to him. The gold and silver belongs to him. You cannot die before what God promised you happened. It is impossible. God does not lie. God spoke to you. He is faithful. And to do it is to make it happen. The promise of God is not finished by the season. It is not finished by the year. No, no, no. The one who said it and to fulfill it will be the one. You cannot die before what God promised you come to pass. The illness cannot kill you before what God said come to pass. Don't marry the girls who doesn't have money. Don't marry the educated girls. Don't look for the girls who are illiterate. Look for the wives who have filled the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! A wife who is filled with the Holy Spirit. When it's not working everywhere to the husband. And when it comes comes back at home and the wife tells you that it shall work. The wives which comfort their husband, those are the wives who are expecting 
anointed. The wives who are filled with the Holy Spirit. Who tells their husband that even though it's not working, but it shall work. The man called Nelson Mandela. While he was in a prison, South Africa. The wife called Win Mandela. While she would visit him in, in jail. She would tell him that fear not, you will come out of the jail. The wives who convert their husband. Those are expected wives. Who tells their husband that even though it's not working today, but it will work. We have the people who expect us. We have people who give us days. They gave us days. They are far from us. They are distancing themselves to see you whether you will be happy. Your relatives. Your uncles, your aunties. Who was supposed to support you and it worked. But they have released you. They threw you in the hands of your enemies. They gave you time. This year will not be finished. You will be passed. Their plans will take nothing. Their plans will not come to pass. The plans of your enemies, the plans of the witch doctor will not take anything. The plans of your enemies, the plans of your enemies will take nothing. The plans of your enemies. Abachamanza. Judges. Chuminagatanda two. Sixteen. Mirongwibiri. Numunani. Twenty eight. Aravango Nuko Samson. Atakambiru we take Karavogati. We take Kamana. The Queen Ginze Unibuke. The Queen Ginze Ma Imbaraga Akakanya Gusa. Mana. Kugirango pole ramaso yanje yombi abafristia amen. Then Samson prayed to the Lord, O Sovereign Lord, remember me, O God, please strengthen me just once more, and let me with one blow get revenge on the Philistine for my two eyes, amen. We thank God for today's evening. May the God of Israel bless you. We said, May God bless you. Greet the people next to you and ask him that did you know? May God bless you. We thank the leadership of the church. And you give us this time. Prophet, may God bless you. And your wife. And the church committee. May God bless you. And may God bless you, Christian. And may God bless me. She stand for a long time. Amen. Today's evening. We thank God. For allowing us to stand here. Truly I didn't know. I knew it yesterday it's when prophet called me it was a week being here in Rwanda from Burundi then I was supposed to go back at home on Saturday then yesterday he called me that I have to come to preach you. We're going to share the word of God here in this evening. Which says, may God revenge for you. May God revenge for you. 
May the hands of God revenge for you. One morning, God created a man called Adam. Adam who gave birth at Seth. And Seth gave birth at Canaan. And Canaan gave birth at Emosh. Enoch gave birth at Malay. Malay gave birth at Ellen. And Ered gave birth at Metusela. Enoch gave birth at Metusela. Metusela. And Methuselah gave birth at Lamech. Rameki Abzara Noah. And Lamech gave birth at Noah. Noah Abzara Shem. Noah gave birth at Shem. Shem Abzara Arpaksad. He gave birth at Obesan. Arpaksad Abzara Sher. Arpaksad gave birth at Shell. Sher Abzara Peleg. Shell gave birth at Peleg. Peleg Abzara Reu. Peleg gave birth at Leir. Reu Abzara Naor. Leir gave birth at Neom. Naor Abzara Ter. And she gave birth at Terror. Ter Abzara Ibrahim. Gave birth at Abraham. Ibrahim Abzara Isaka. Abraham gave birth at Isaac. Isaka Abzara Yakobo. Isaac gave birth at Jacob. Yakobo Kumugore Wakabiri Yagizawa Gorebane. Jacob for the second wife because he had. Umugore Vita Biruha. The one called Birua. Gave birth at a son called Dani. Jacob What Jacob was going to die. He called all his children. And he told them that Dan. Wewe Dan. You Dan. You'll be compared like a forest snake. You will Peak and hit to the, the 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 down part of the horses. And the horses will take down the one they're carrying. And you will be the judge of your brethren. The Bible says that during that time there was in Africa. In Misri. After Jacob told them those words, they were out of Egypt by the time. They went to Canaan. Then they left Canaan. On the mountain called Shiro. Which there was to the mount, I mean the country they was living in. The house of Dan. You will feel sorry. My hallelujahs are very less. I reduce to speak in a loud voice. I want people to listen. I preach the word of God. And everyone know the source of why something happened. Because if I can tell you and you don't understand anything, I can be in loss. At least, At least don't love me. I don't want any person to go home with my face. I want you to go home with the image of scriptures. This is what I wish. Shake your neighbor. Tell him that if you take the image of the teacher and without taking his lesson, it can be useless to you. I don't want you even to see me. I want you to hear from the power of the scriptures. This is what I wish. The Bible, the word of God. It says what they reached to Canaan. There was to Shiro prayer mountain. Shiro mountain and they divided the country. The house of Dan. 
They go the border from Palestine. Where it's called Tesho. Where it's called Timon. Where it's called Saul. The Bible says that in that time the Philistine had power above the house of Israelites. The people from Dan are them who got the share to the border. When the Philistine could attack, before the troubles enter in other houses, trouble would start first in the house of Dan. The Philistine would attack in two seasons. They used to attack during the time of cultivating. And the people from Dan they cultivate. And while their crops are getting growing, and the Philistines bring their cows, they bring their, their, their animals. Then they start strumming in all the cultivations of uh, those people from the house of Dan. And the people of Dan they started being hopeless. Philistine was really bad people. Another time they allow them to cultivate when they are almost to get the crops to the time of getting the crops the Philistine rebel they seize from them what they have cultivated. When does a person face a sorrow it is when you sow and it reaps the one who did not cultivate the devil is a bad one he allows you and he will work but when you are going to reap the Philistines come always I hear from people praying for visa the devil allows you to reach in a prospered country but he doesn't allow you to prosper dear brethren the devil can allow you to live in a country of peace but you don't have peace don't pray again for the womb. The devil can allow children to be born. Then after the Philistines become against them. A person who gave birth to us more cry more than a barren. To give birth is one. To be blessed in your offspring is another thing. The devil is not against fiance. Uh, he accepts the wedding takes place. And he goes against the heritage which is made. Philistines. They allow you cultivate. When you're going to get crops. The Philistines represent themselves. Satan. The devil is no longer against education. He allows you to get to the level of distinction. But tell me the time you can get a job. Satan. The devil. He can be against you that you won't get a job. He accepts and you get a job. But when you get a salary. The children get sick. That crop is taken by Philistine. We need to let Philistine live or we beat them. The Bible says that the Philistines they started bringing troubles in the house of God. Let me tell you that I conclude. Satan the devil allows God to give you the heritage and then he makes it to become bitter to you. The heritage become bitter to you. The marriage become bitter. Your marriage become bitter. The children become bitter. All the things has become problems on this world. Barren are crying. Those who gave birth are crying. Let me tell you that I conclude. Everything is sweet when Jesus is in it. The 
says that. Oh, Kodan. Elkan. Batangira gutakaza gakondo ya. The people from Dan lost their heritage. Batangira gutakaza umugabane wa. They lost their share. Ibyiringiro birashira. Hope was over. Batakaza timuna. They lost their timon. Batakaza itishiwori. They lost their tissue. Few of them was remaining. They remained with this city called Nisor. Those few people remained, they gathered a conference. They said, Dear, let us get married to other ones. Then see whether we can increase our number. There was a barren woman. She had a husband who was called Men. Then they told him that before everyone gets married, you number first because your wife is married. Then Meno came and told the woman. Then the wife told him that from today, you will be spending the day sleeping. And Meno was like, you did something great to me because I like this. Then the wife goes to the farm. She failed to cultivate. Remembering that she doesn't have a child. Then she said, God, things are true. If I cultivate and I get the crops, Philistine will take it. If the Philistine won't take it, who will eat it? I don't have a child. While she fell to cultivate, she went up to the farm and she started crying. Telling God that God, if you can take me on this mountain, the mountain of barrenness, the Bible says that while she was praying, God transferred his angel. And the angel met a woman who was crying. The man was in the flesh of people. Then he told the wife that lady, You will give birth at a baby boy. Call him Samson. He will, he will be Please don't shave him since the time is gone. Then the wife of Manewa was like, please stop that. He ran. She ran closer to her husband. Then she told him that Meno, the angel of the Lord came to me and he told me that we shall give birth. Then Meno entered in his room. Then he told God that God wives speak much. If what she come to tell me is true, please reveal again yourself to us. The Bible says that after another day she went back to Reaching there, she couldn't manage to cultivate. She went again to the same place and she said, And she told God that God, I didn't know that you still love me. While she was crying, then the man came back. And he told her that go and tell your husband. To come, I give him this news. Then the wife of Manoah went. And she met the husband. And she told him that he was. Listen to me, the that man came back. Then Manoah ran back. And the wife was behind me. Reaching there in the farm, they found a demand. Man 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 then Manoah was like, Hello. Are you the one who spoke to my wife? Then he replied, Yes, of course, it's me. But what's the news? you gave to her. Then the angel replied to her that your wife shall, will continue and she will give birth of a child who will be the judge of Israelite. When they speak about the judges, what well, the one was ruling, and that child is the one who will take off the hands of Philistine. 
while you will be pregnant protect yourself about something which is from vineyard then the father told that man that listened you cannot say this word and we fail to give you something let me tell you when a prophet confessed on you a word it is not coming to pass immediately. But the offering you give out, it is like a confirmation that you accept what you are giving. Men or at the time, he was not given a child. Then he said, Father, the words that you come to say, you cannot go back while I don't give you a goat. I will kill for you a goat and prepare it and you eat it. Then you go. Then the man replied to him that I don't eat. But let's offer sacrifice to God. Then men don't want to bring a goat. They offer the sacrifice. The Bible says that uh, the furnace of fire came up. That the man was in that thoroughly flow. And men recognized that he was talking to the angel. The Bible says that he fainted down. Among the names I can't give to my children is Mano. He's the only man who fainted before the wife. I, I'm really surprised with the wife of this man. He went closer to the husband. Told him that fear not, you cannot die. Before what this man come to tell us yet. The wives which comfort the husband. Those are the wives who are expected. The wives who are filled with the Holy Spirit. Who tells their husband that even though it's not working, but it shall work. The man called Nelson Mandela. While he was in a prison in South Africa. The wife called Win Mandela. While she would visit him in, in jail. She would tell him that fear not you will come out of the jail the wives who can pass their husband those are expected wives who tells their husband that even though it's not working today but it will work then this wife told the husband that fear not we can't find these women here in Rwanda who comforts their husband and she tells him that even though it's not working today but it shall work you boys do yet get married don't marry the girls who has money don't marry the girls who doesn't have money don't marry the educated girls don't look for the girls who are illiterate look for the wives who are filled the Holy Spirit of God hallelujah, hallelujah. a wife who is filled with the Holy Spirit when it's not working everywhere to the husband and when it comes comes back at home and the wife tells you that it shall work. The wife of men showed the husband the sweeters. Fear not, you cannot die. Before what he told us is yet happened. Dear brethren in Christ, fear not, you cannot die. Before what God told you come pass. Walk with hope. Let me tell you so that I can conclude. When God tells you something, then after it's delayed to happen, that's a guarantee for you to live more. You cannot die before what God promised you happen. It is impossible. 
God does not lie. God spoke to you. He's faithful. And to do it and make it happen. The promise of God is not finished by the season. It's not finished by the year. No, no, no. 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 no the one who said it and to fulfill it will be the one you cannot die before what God promised you come to pass the illness cannot kill you before what God said come to pass check the people next to you tell him that you cannot die before Samson is born it is impossible Menno, the wife told him that sweet. You cannot die. While God spoke to us, what He has told us has come to us. And don't worry, I mean, don't Hallelujah. lie. Hallelujah. Listen to me with wisdom. The plan of dying. It is behind the promise. The plan of dying. It is behind the promise. The promise comes. Death next. When the promise is yet to come to pass, you will not die. You cannot die. While what God told you is yet happening. Greet two people and tell them that you cannot die. While the promises are still in agenda. Oh, yeah. No. You cannot die. God is not a human being to lie. God is not a human being to, to lie. God never lies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God never dies. He cannot do something in a way of life. No, he can't. Greet the people next to you. And tell him that there is no reason on you that can make God lie to you. You have nothing that can make God lie to you. Nothing God needs from you. The promises that he gave you are true. Because nothing expects from you more. God lie to you. Why? You have one. Who are you? Who are you? He commands the king. Yes, for glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Our God never lies. He cannot see Because nothing he expects from you. Your treasure is meaningless to him. The gold and silver belongs to him. The reason why he tells you all that it is to take you in a comfort state. Hallelujah. The reason why God gives you promises it is for us to work strengthened. Listen to how the Bible says it says that if he can want he can do it without telling us. But he tells us so that he can strengthen our hearts. Hallelujah. Check the people next to you again. Tell him that you cannot die. 
Ask him or her, do you have some promise? Ask him, are you waiting for Samson? Hallelujah, are you waiting for Samson? Are you waiting for Samson? Those who are waiting for Samson, they never go. So they can go through fire. So they can go through water. They cannot die. Hallelujah. Listen. Those promises that you have. He is your Samson. You cannot die. Man was sleeping. And the wife told him that you cannot die before Samson born. Then his husband he resurrected. He didn't know the news that a person cannot die before the promise come to pass. The Bible says that they went back at home. No. I want us to share this word that says may God revenge to you. Read the people next to you. Tell him or her that may God revenge to you. If a person you sitting together is not your mother, no. Shake him and tell him, oh, may God revenge to you. The Bible says that they went back at home. Then the wife of Manoah was she conceived. In one morning she gave birth. She gave birth at a baby boy. They named him Samson. Samson then Samson grew. And the hair grew. They have wanted them to not shave him. And the hair was long till the backside. This is the only man who got dreadlock from first. The Bible says that the breeded his hair into seven times. Then Samson told the mother and father that I feel like moving around and I will go at our place which was ours he descended to Teshur he was filled with the Holy Spirit the Bible says that he went there reaching a Timon he met a girl then he came back and told his father and mother the news. And he said, I love the Philistine girl. And the parent tried to stop him, but he couldn't understand. Listen to what surprised me. The parents want to ask for him a Philistine girl, reaching in their way. Samson went in the way. Then he found him. The, 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 the lions. Then he killed the lions. But he did not tell the parents the news. I was really surprised by this man. You can kill the lion and you don't tell the people you're together in the way. Shake the people next to you and tell him this news. It's not necessarily to give out the news of whatever battle that we fight. All the battles that you fight. It's not necessarily to give out its use. There are battles that we fight silently. And the people see us thanking God. While they don't know the time we fought. Hallelujah. Check the people next to you. Tell him that fight silently. Why there was from asking for bride? He went to look at this group of lions. And he found it in those beds inside. 
Then he arranged his hands. And he took in how he says. Then he brought to the mother and father. That received to the honey. That's from my bottle I fought. When we fight. People see us in success while they don't know the bottle. The Bible says. That that lion. It had a meaning of Jesus. Three days that it spended. It had a meaning of three days that God spent in hell. Honey out of this lion. It has the meaning of the life we got from Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I want to tell you the Bible. I don't want anyone to take my faith. Take the scriptures I'm giving you. Learn how to fight silently. In this world, learn to be silent. Learn to fight silently. Learn to pray. It's not necessarily for all battles that we fight to be known. Hallelujah. Learn how to be silent, dear brethren. Learn to be silent. Learn to be silent. Actually, except only the Christians. Even, I mean, these disciplined people, they don't cry or speak out everything. Disciplined people, they can't find food, but they stay silent. Let me conclude. Listen to what the Bible says that I can Samson, Samson was married. He is the only the first boy. Who got a best man? Because of proudness. He got the best man. I mean, Samson is the founder of. He committed one mistake. His best man was a Philistine. When he would get married to a Philistine, at the time we got in our honeymoon period. You leave the girl and you go. You go. Then you come back while you want to take her. While Samson came back to get her girl after marriage. He found that the best man has already taken the bride. Then Samson asked the father-in-law, where is my wife? Then he told him that. That your wife was married. Samson is the first man who quarreled with his father-in-law. Then he told the, the grandfather, I mean, the father-in-law that, dear, you provoking me. You are provoking me. Then he told him that he has the young sister and she's beautiful. Samson we can Abir give her to you. Then Samson was like, Man, you're confusing me. Samson. Then Samson went to the mountain. Having those forest dogs, 300 of them. You got me. I want to tell you how God revenge after battle. Hallelujah. 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 Samson. Then Samson took three three hundred uh, dogs Charigi. in the forest. Charigi. It was in time Chokwe. of being accepted. Chaba to the Philistine. And two of them pairs, pairs of dogs were transferred in the farms of Philistines. 
twatangiye tuvuga ko abafilistia ari bo bononaga imyaka y'abanyizraheli we started saying that the philistine are them who used to go in the farms of israel no no birahindutse abanyizraheli batangiye konona imirima abafilistia then now it's reverse i mean israel are them who are going in the farms of philistines nyaganyeza mwene wanyu mubwire ngo bihinduke Check the people next to you tell him may those who had power on you you turn to have power on Hallelujah you. Hallelujah 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 Philistia Philistine They saw fire in their farm They asked each other what's going on That is our son in law who burning Why did he burn it? That uh, his father in law married his girl, I mean his wife Abafistia. for the second time. Philistine says that. Samson Samson does not have a problem. But the father in law is the one who has the problem. They went and they took his father. They took the best man. They took the wife of Samson. They burnt them. Samson was Samson was sitting. He saw fire was coming. He saw the letter saying that your wife were burned. Samson aravuga ngo abafilistia barankoros. Then Samson said Philistine are not provoking me. Asamu kama abafilisti. He went in Philistines. The Bible says that he killed them. I want you to hear from me. After he killed Philistine. Samson did not go back. He went in the place of Jordan. After he killed Philistine. Samson did not go to his mother. He went in the, in the road. Then he told God. That that Give me again. Papa. Father. Nongera mavuta. Give me again anointing. Like Let me tell you. The time of praying is when. It is not a time while it's no working. When do they pray? They pray while it's working. They go in the rock of that time. And they tell God that God. For today is working. But give me more. But give me more people has anointing of God but this anointing doesn't have long they work one time when it's work instead of going in the rock to pray again they have more protocols singers the day you will sing and it works and it works don't go back go back in the rock and pray then tell God that God we have reached give us more you prophesy the day you will prophesy and it works it is not your time to go it requires you to go in the road and you start telling God that God give me more anointing evangelists the day you will preach and you accept it it is not your time to start it is the time to go down in the road and you tell God that God get me more anointing Say get me more anointing. Nongera. Get me more anointing. Nongera. Get me more anointing. Nongera. Get me more anointing. Samson said that God. Get me more anointing. Get me more anointing father. Get me more power. Give me more power. Get me more father. Father I'm coming to you. Get me more father. Lord. Get me more anointing. Get me more anointing. Where I feel down. I'm expecting your power. Father give me power. So that I won't be out of your Cause I'm now done. Today I've seen your hand. Father I expect to see you tomorrow. 
Tuesday. I expect to see you tomorrow. Please don't see, leave me. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When do we pray? We don't pray when the children are misbehaving. And we don't pray when we don't have time. And we don't pray when the husband beats you. And we don't pray when it's not working. Read the people next to you. Tell him that the right time to pray. It is when it's working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. The right time to pray. It is the time your husband is giving you the gift. It is when he tells you, sweetie, sweetie. This is your right season to pray. This is the right season. The time you were promoted and you've got a salary. This is your time to speak to God. Ha! The time you prophesy and it's come to pass. This is the right time to go on the mountain. Oh, this is the right time. Let me tell you. When I go to preach and four people tell me that it's working. At that time, I don't sleep. I spend my nights. I kneel down. I tell God and my father. Thank you that it's working today. I'm asking you, Father, to accept again tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. The right time to pray. It is the time we beat Philistine. The time we beat Philistine. This is the right time for us to pray. The time everything is in peace. Let me tell you, dear Randans. This is where we differentiated from you. You pray when it's no more working. But we pray when it's working. Check the people next to you and ask him, when do you pray? When do you pray? Is it when it's working or when it's not working? Ah. Ah. Many of you it's not love you love God you are getting <laughs> you are refugees you are going away to the problem let's go to prophet so that he can see for us this is why there are people you pray for after they are answered you seek for them in church but you don't find them then you think where did these people went where there was refugees they went back to their own place people who pray because of problems are refugees but we have turned God our heritage Let's offer glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took us with his prayer, which is his love. Though the tree cannot harm, and the vineyards can't come, and the cows are over, there is no reason we should be happy to our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Few minutes remain for me to conclude. While Samson was in the rock of Jordan, Philistines came. They went to get him. The Israelites are the same people. I want to speak in a low voice that you can hear me. Listen to me. 
Listen to me dear brothers. Bene wabo na Samson. The same people, the same tribe of Samson. Baja kwitega ba Philistine. They went to face Philistine. Barababwira ngo yema. And they told them that. Niki kibaza. Why are you here? Tuje kufshaka Samson. They said we are coming to seek for Samson. Tura mutse tumubaza niye. If we can bring him to you. Ngo tubabarira. Can you forgive us? Bene wabo na Samson. The same people of Samson. Baja kufata Samson. They went to capture him. They sent to him 3,000 men. They went to capture one man. If there is no wish doctor among you, stretch your hands. Say, may God empowers you more. Let me tell you. We need to exceed the level that wish doctors can distract you. But for the wish doctors to be able of you at least they gather together and they become 3,000 one wish doctor kills you Samson. same son they gathered and there was 3,000 so that they can go to capture him let me tell you these are the brethren who went to capture him. If 3,000 will tell him that you bid for us, the Philistine, God bless you, come, we support you, then we beat them. They came and said, you provoked Philistine. So we are going to take you. We submit you in the hands of Philistines. Samson, Samson told them. Listen to me, here is my focal point. Though I can sit immediately. Samson, Samson said. The dear brethren. He was sitting in the rock of your time. Pastor, he gave them hands. You think he was that yeah, much high? He told them that I can beat you, but my anointing is not being against my brother. The anointing I was given. It is not being against my brother. The anointing we were given. It is not being against our brother. The anointing you were given. It is not being against your brother. The anointing we it is not being against our brethren. No, 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 no. The anointing you are given. It is not being against the people speak the same language. The anointing you are given. Let me tell you. The anointing we are given. It is not being against the people we serve the same way. It is not being against the leadership of the church. I was really surprised. I was really surprised. You go to the pastor. You find a pastor is against another pastor. A pastor is against a prophet. The anointing we were given is not the anointing of being against the people we serve. The, the anointing we were given is not of being against our relatives. Samson, Samson. He said the anointing I was given. It is not of being against you. The anointing I was given. It is the anointing of being against Philistine. Yes, I offer glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing we were given. It is not being against the people we serve the same way. This thing really hurts me. When you see a person insulting another person that he goes to hell, he is misusing anointing. The anointing we are given. The anointing we are given. It is of beating Philistine. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The anointing we were given. The anointing we are given. The anointing we were anointed. It is for beating the devil. It 
It is not being against our brethren. Listen, I tell you. Hallelujah. Bring your gifts. Then I bring mine. We build the kingdom of God. Bring your gifts. Bring your gifts. Then I bring mine. Then we build the kingdom of God. Bring your gifts. Bring your gifts. Bring your gifts. Bring your gifts. Then I bring mine. Then we enlarge the kingdom of God. We enlarge the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. 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 Bring your gifts. Let me ask you. Check the people next to you. Tell him that your gift is not for being against your brothers. It is for completing each other. Then after we beat the devil, Elion, Elion, the anointing you are giving, it is not of being against your brethren. It is the anointing to shake out the devil. It is for shaking out the devil. It is for shaking out the devil. The people are so tired. People are so tired. I was really surprised. There is no church which must be against another church. No prophet who must be against another prophet. No evangelist who must be against another evangelist. This is the right time that you bring your anointing and I bring my anointing. Then we take down the kingdom of David. Hallelujah! We take down the kingdom of David. Hallelujah! Let me tell you. Shake the people next to you. Tell him that the anointing you were given is to support your brethren. The anointing you were given. It is for supporting your brethren. Samson gave out hands to them. He told them, please bound my hands. Bound my hands. I can't be against you. Then the relatives took him. The story are now long and it's becoming nerd. Ah! 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 They are relatives. Master is the king. Who brought uh, our church from Roma to Italy? He reached to Belgium. He said that the problem he faced it is that he was rejected by the people who were supposed to receive him. Do you know the problem we face? The problem that we face. It is not the witch doctor. It is not Satan. But the problem we have. Our relatives who were for our circles. The problem that we have. Are the people we have the same work who insult us. The problem we have. Are the people we do the same ministry and they insult us. Let me ask you when God does something, do they see the devil is greater than God? Why does people accept that Satan does miracles but not God? People are the servants of Satan. If you accept that Satan is powerful, the problem that we have are our relatives who expose us. Our relatives who expose us are our relatives. Our relatives. Are the relatives of Samson. 
They bounded him. They bounded his legs. They are relatives. They took him in the hands of Philistines. They founded the Philistines in the valley of Lamatle. Bringing Samson while he was bound. Those who bounded him are them who were supposed to rescue him. We were beaten by the hands which would comfort us. We were insulted by the mouth which would we was released by the people who would support us. The relatives of Samson. They bound at his legs and his hands. They took him to Philistine. Taking him to Philistines. The Bible says that they rejected him. And they told Philistines. That look that is Samson. Your relative. Let me tell you. Pastor. Philistine came to him with great noise. The relatives was far from him. Looking so that they can see the western side. We have the people who expect us. We have people who give us days. They gave us days. They are far from us. They are distancing themselves to see you whether you will be happy. Your relatives. Your uncles, your aunties. Who was supposed to support you and it worked. But they have released you. They threw you in the hands of your enemy. They gave you time. This year will not be finished. You will be confused in this city. The relatives of Samson. They threw him in the hands of enemies. Then after they did not go back. But they looked at him in distance. Looking the way he would die in the hands of enemies. Reaching in the hands of enemies. The enemies come closer to get him in noisy. Listen to God when he's gone. Listen to the potential of God. Listen where God is gone. Where they throw him. So that he might be killed by enemies. The Philistines. While they was pushing, pushing him. Let me tell you God. He was binded legs and hands. At that time. The spirit of the Lord came. Immediately at that time. Last the spirit of God. The spirit of the Lord. He was filled in Samson. As they throw him. This is how he was filled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As they throw him. This is how he was zooming. The Bible says that at the time. The chance that was burning him. The heads and the legs. It has become so so. Immediately it was burning. What was burning him? It was released. The legs which was bound. The chains was released. The hands which was bound. The chains was released. And Samson was set free. He did like this. Like. He saw it was working. It's going to work. It's going going to work. What bounded you? It is going to be easy. They bounded your legs. They bounded your hands. They threw you in the hands of enemies. But the God of your is going to appear. Your God is going to appear. Your God is going to appear. Your God is going to appear. Your God. Then Samson. He was released, Pastor. Looking. He saw the head of Vanity. The Bible says that he took it. While he threw it this time. 
thousand men fell down. Thousand men. They fell down. Samson. Samson. Philistine ran away. Samson remained alone. And the relatives. There was in distance. They thought that he was going to die. They saw he was standing by. They are plans will not come to pass. Their plans will take nothing. Their plans will not come to pass. The plans of your enemies, the plans of the witch doctor will not take anything. The plans of your enemies. The plans of your enemies will take nothing. The plans of your enemies, Samson, Samson, stood boldly. Listen. Let me tell you that blood they left you, you will not die there. But you will stand bold. David said aloud, I will not die. But I shall live so that I can tell the people the words that the Lord has done. The works that the Lord has done. We will not die, we shall live. Here. So that we may tell people the works of God that He has done with us. While we were hopeless, while we were in the valley of the shadow of death. Check two people. Tell them that we will not die. We still have thanks. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hey, 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 they will not see us getting ashamed. They will not see you getting down. They will not see you getting ashamed. They will not see your tears. They will not see your trials. They will not see your sorrow. 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 God will cover you. Oh, oh yes. Because as the hand covers its small, yeah, so how the Lord will cover you. This is how the Lord. Are there people who believe God? So that you can stretch up your hands. Stretch up your hands till the end. Take your hands up. Oh. Again. Say thank you, Jesus. That they won't see my shame. Stretch up your hands to find out. Oh, Hallelujah. We will continue next time. Hallelujah. Oh, when you have Kandi nuko zisoni Habugi kuzo mana yatu Kukurabi Ewa we Oe nuju emuka Kandi nuko zisoni Habugi kuzo mana yatu Kukurabi Oh, 
Come 